evening and thank you for joining us tonight for 13 News at 6. I'm Brittany Hardaway. Our top story begins in Rockford, where 240 apartment units are headed to the first ward. This comes as aldermen voted in support of the project Monday night. In addition to new apartment units, there will be a clubhouse and a three story assisted living facility with 136 beds. This plan was originally voted down in 2021, but received a yes this time around in a 12 to 2 vote. One of the no's, though, was the area's alderman, Tim Durkee, who believes townhomes would have been a better option for the space. 13 WRX's Emily McMinn joins us in studio after speaking to people who live near Garrett Lane ahead of the project coming to their neighborhood. Emily, what are some of their big concerns tonight? Well, Brittany, the people I spoke to are not in support of the project and say they're feeling disappointed at the choice made by City Council. The overwhelming sentiment I heard today is that they fear their quiet neighborhood will never be the same. Harmy Young has lived in the neighborhood off Garrett Lane for 17 years and never expected to have anything fill the vacant space. Now to hear this, I'm very, very upset over it. It's very quiet here. You never hear any of the kids. You never see them. Everybody's happy here. Another resident who wished to remain anonymous feels the same, not forcing him to look towards plans of going elsewhere. I'm only 32. Like, I didn't see this as my forever home, but I expected to live there for 10, 15 years at least. And now I've already just started thinking about that because I'm worried at what it's going to do to the area. The same resident wrote a letter to the city zoning board of appeals expressing concerns about several factors, including traffic and the overall feel of the neighborhood. It's nice to just go out on our little porch we have in the back and like just look into like the foresty area and stuff. And now um, I'm going to be looking at apartment buildings and everything. So I think for an aesthetic reason, I was disappointed in that. He also lives just 10 feet from where the construction will eventually be taking place, leaving him skeptical for what the new traffic flow will look like. I live on the corner, so I know the the road is a lot busier than I thought when we were buying the um, the house. And I I know the area and how many people live in it approximately. Like, I just can't foresee how that doesn't cause traffic. Young is grateful for Alderman Durkee expressing his opposition to the project, but says with the changes coming, she has to look towards other options. It makes me feel good. He needs to fight for us. Everybody doesn't want that. You know, it's so quiet. I love it here. But if I have to move, I have to move. At this time, developers have not announced when they will break ground on the project. Back over to you, Brittany. All right, Emily, thank you for that update.